Welcome to episode 139, Li Shao Ki, From Refugee to the Second Richest Real Estate Seven Billionaire in the World, Eight Lessons. This is an outline of episode 139. Lesson number one, hands-on education is far better than classroom and formal education. Li Shao Ki never finished high school. He learned everything business from hands-on. Lesson number two, vision and patience. I asked myself the question, how did he make the majority of his wealth? Well, from two visions. First, Sha Tin was a fishing village. Second, Yunlong was an old village surrounded by flat land. He developed both villages into a metropolis with high rise after high rise. Lesson number three, great danger equals great opportunity. He was able to buy land in Sha Tin and Yunlong for very cheap prices because a lot of rich people in Hong Kong were fleeing before the handover of Hong Kong to China in 1997. Lesson number four, be contrarian. When almost all real estate developers were buying and building in Hong Kong and Kowloon, he bought and built in the new territories. Here's a map of the new territories, Hong Kong and Kowloon. Lesson number five, cash flow is important. Cash flow bail you out in tough economic times. His cash flow is from China gas, the utilities in 12 provinces in China. Lesson number six, go China. Since 2012, he invested heavily in real estate in China, in particular the city of Shanghai and Chengdu. Shanghai Arch was built in 2012. It is located inside the prime lot along Huangpu River at Little Lujiazui and spreads gently in a sector pattern, having perfect landscape of Huangpu River and surpassing the luxury and elegancy of the arch in Hong Kong. In 2014, the Arch Chengdu was built jointly by three giants in real estate industry in Hong Kong. For example, Sang Hang Kai Properties, Henderson Land Development Company Limited. Lesson number seven, family first. He prefers family-owned business. In 2015, he passed his business empire to his two sons. Lesson number eight, his three pillars of diversification. First, real estate. Second, stocks. Third, cash flow businesses like China Gas. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your comments and questions below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.